Hi, my name is Suresh Venkat. I'm in conversation with Mr. Rudy Peters, the Chief Information Officer of the KBC Group. Mr. Peters, you've transformed your organization from what you called an IT-centric organization to a customer-centric organization. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this change. Well, that was uh, quite a big change because, uh, and I think most of the IT organizations are a little bit like a black box uh, okay. and, and there was no trust with the business when I arrived there as a CIO. It was really IT centric, so no transparency, uh, they could not deliver on time, the quality was not good, so there were a lot of complaints about IT. And when I arrived there, my previous job was marketing, to be honest, so mm -hmm. I know something about marketing techniques. I heard uh, explanations of IT people said, the stupid customer doesn't know how good we are. I said, wait, wait, we have to start with some lessons That's a of classic marketing statement. here. It's a classic the statement. Customer's, the customer is stupid, he indeed, needs to learn. Indeed, indeed. So what I told them first, there is not such a thing as a stupid customer. Second, if he thinks you're bad, you are bad, because the perception is reality. So we did quite a lot on perception management and, and how to do perception management. Uh, I sent also my people for one year not to technical courses anymore, but only to business courses and business seminars together with the business. Mm -hmm. I, I translated the euros, the, the, the currency, into business value. For example, if you're working in the automatization of the deposit department, I told them you need that much million on a saving account to pay your bill. So. It brings them to the business they are working for. And also I try to, to explain them that we are a bank and insurance company and not a software house. And of course, some of the IT people were a little bit disappointed. They came for us only for the technology and we have to say goodbye, goodbye to a few of them. But we managed to change uh, quite fast, to be honest, because I've got about 3000 employees in the IT department and we did the change uh, in two years time. The customer satisfaction increased with 20% and we saved in the meanwhile 100 million euros. So I think we've done a great job there. What are the few, two or three big innovations that you see that threaten the banking and insurance business model, typically founded in technology, these innovations? Oh, uh, that will be difficult to, to only talk, take three of them, but... The biggest one that you <laughs> the see. The biggest one. I think uh, the biggest one, maybe it's not the technology itself, but the speed of the change. Okay. Uh, the speed of the change and that, that reflects on different kinds of things. It, re it reflects on technology, but it reflects on development tools, it, it reflects on, on business models that change. So I think where in the past we could make a strategy plan for five years, now we are not even able to do it for six months. The world is changing so fast mm -hmm. that you have to organize yourself in such a way that you can re-assign uh, your strategy, your policies, your, your technology. I remember we, when we did uh, the first, one of the first mobile developments on an iPad uh, with, with HTML5, which was a new development tool, all the students who came from school were already outdated. Mm -hmm. We didn't find them, we didn't find the skills. So okay. again, things have to change. You have to create the skills by yourself because the schools are already outdated. So it goes so fast and it really goes fast because I was in IT about 20 years ago, I went to the business and come back to IT. Back to IT. It's a huge difference in speed. So speed of change speed is, one of the, is one of the big enormous. challenges. Yeah. And of course, see. you've got done technology like, for example, the Google self-driving car. When that pops up, what is the impact on the business? We don't have a driver to insure anymore, but maybe we should insure the technology of the car, which makes sense. And maybe we have more and new businesses than we have had in the past. So you should always ask yourself the question of every disruption on every change that comes up to you, what are the opportunities? Because the glass is always half full, of course. Mr. Peters, what opportunities do you see in software technologies like software as a service or the open source movement? What are the opportunities that you see in banking from movements like this? I would like uh, that, that software as a services and cloud business would, would accelerate much faster in banking. And one of the reasons why it is not accelerating fast enough is because of the regulations. Our regulations are quite severe and they're really old school. And banking is a conservative and industry. Banking is a, I give you one of the examples. We moved uh, with all our mail and agenda and collaboration tools to the cloud with Microsoft. It took us two years to convince the regulator it took us two months to do the migration. Okay. And what is the advantages of going to cloud with the, the different kind of business? It's standardization. It's, it's, it's obvious. Yeah. I think it's one okay. of the mistakes is we quite often do, and I think KBC is not the only one making that mistake, is when you buy a package, you customize it too much. But when you have it in the cloud, you cannot customize it. So this is maybe one of the biggest advantage. Mm -hmm. You have to adapt your process at the package instead of customizing the package. Mr. Peters, what what kind of innovations do you think that India needs in banking? To, millions of Indians of, need to be uh, what, what we call the unbanked. If we were to take banking to every single person in India, what are the kind of innovations you think that we should be looking at? I don't know if you really need innovations. I need. I think the, the 
biggest challenge will be having an easy access to your banking. Uh, and I think that is not that technology wizard anymore. That should be that not that that uh, that difficult. So that should be easy. I think uh, maybe uh, what I would advise is uh, as a bank, and this is something we are experimenting with, is you create open APIs and leave all your customers mm -hmm. the the possibility to adapt or to make their own applications. Imagine with a technology country like uh, like India is with that, that much IT students. If I as a bank would have open APIs and I've got millions of of IT guys making apps for me. That would be that would be magnificent. I'm looking forward to having this kind of opportunities. All right, Mr. Peters, thank you for talking to us. Welcome.